You excited? Yeah. Think we can survive? Yeah. What does the red light mean? It's recording. Uh. Survival trip. Me and Huck are trying to see if we can go out into the wilderness and survive overnight for 24 hours. Yeah. Only eating what we catch or what we gather. We're looking for some chicken out of the woods. That's what Huck's excited about, chicken of the woods. Ticks are uh, still a problem in certain areas, so we made sure we treated our clothes before we got out here with uh, this permethrin, and you should do that too, right, buddy? We don't want any ticks on us, right? Got all of our camping gear on our back. Got all of our survival tools that we need. Hey, guys. Guys on the camera. Ready to go? Guys on the camera. We're looking for Bigfoot, and watch out for Bigfoot because don't let him take you. You walk through it. Keep going. So I really didn't bring any food with us. We are gonna try to find some stuff to eat, catch some fish. There's a pretty nice just creek back here that holds some fish. So we're gonna try to. We're gonna keep going and see if we can find a creek. Yep. See if we can find a big creek. Hey, Huck. I think I found something we can eat tonight. There's berries on that tree over there. Should I go pick some, you think? Okay, you stay here because this is tall, tall grass, okay? Some of them are pretty red yet. And tart, but I'll pick the black ones as much as I can. Well, we're not gonna starve tonight. We at least got some blackberries to eat. Man, this thing would be loaded if it was a few days later. Okay, we got sack full here, half or uh, bottom of the sack's okay, full. Enough for us for one night. Go ahead. We're gonna have a feast tonight. <laughs> you think that's a Bigfoot track right there? Right there? Yeah, right there. You think it's a big? Yeah, 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 sure. 100% Bigfoot. Okay, stop. What happened? What'd you see? Another big, look, there's a tree down. Maybe he pushed that tree down right there. You think he pushed it down? So our uh, creek crossing is kind of dammed up right now. Right here's where we usually cross and this tree's falling over into the creek and it's making it real deep right here. So we have to find another way across the creek. Well, we'll figure it out. Like What's your good idea? So we need to go through the woods all the way to the other side. Let's try it. What kind of track is right here? Deer track. That's a deer track, yep. Found a good creek, creek crossing. Come on, Bubba. Yeah, it's a little on this side. Okay, I think what we do is we go camp right up here in the woods somewhere, and then we can come fishing in that little that deep hole over there. Does that sound good? Okay. okay. So I'm gonna mark this spot on my Onyx because it took me a minute to find a place to cross this creek and. Sure enough, that beaver dam has that side of the creek uh, bound up. We thought about camping down by the water, but mosquitoes are really bad down there. So we're gonna try to find a flat spot up here on this hillside and make camp here. You'll make it? I think we're gonna just set up right here on this. There's a little military crest that this tree made. Looks like a good enough spot to me. So what are you doing? Slide. Oh, oh, nice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, 
Oh Got the tent all put up. And my uh, son ah. is covered in dirt. <laughs> but that's pretty well status quo. Try to keep some of these bugs out of the tent. Kind of uneven in here, but we'll get her figured out. Feds are blown up. Let's see here, suck spot. It'd probably be fine. Don't come in here, you're too dirty. My spot's gonna be right here. Well, I thought this was gonna be my spot. Yeah, I'll probably make this work. I'm a side sleeper, so I got a little bend in the back, but it's all right. I could probably just take a nap right here while he's playing. Man, I love living in the United States and being able to do all this kind of thing. Hey, Dad. Dad, can we go fishing? Want to go now? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So I brought a fishing kit. I did not bring a fishing pole. I'm going to cut a limb, just a little small limb, out of one of these saplings with a Slutterman Free P4. If you guys don't have one of these, this is like the best tool for an outdoorsman to have. So we got a really nice saw, a really nice blade on it, some scissors. Um, obviously it has a pair of needle nose pliers that so comes in real handy. So a must have. I know with a fishing pole, you don't really want to use a dead limb. Um, just cause it could break on you and then lose fish. Not that that's like the end of the world, but not ideal. Ooh, it's kind of dark up here. Through the eye. My grandpa taught me how to how to uh, tie fishing not a long, long time ago. Probably when I was just a little bit older than Huck. He's down there playing in the creek pretty hard right now. I bet he's soaking wet. I remember when my grandpa got older, I couldn't see very good. I would have to, and I ended up tying him for him. There's one of your shoes. Where's your other one at? You don't know? It's pretty deep right there. All right, let's get over to this beaver dam over here. Catch the fish. Buddy, we do have some black bears, but I get some protein for tonight though. Don't you think? Yeah. Some fish, that'd be some good protein. Okay. Hey, don't make so much noise. What? We're fishing. Looks like there's another hole up here we've been fishing. So kind of struggling fishing here. Just ain't finding any. I've got, got, a, got the technique for casting this thing though. I'm getting good at casting it. So we're gonna go uh, try to go to a different part of the creek and see if the fish are biting over there. It may just be a little bit too early. Where are you off to? It's a lot it's not as deep over there. You just like getting in the water don't you? You can see how the beavers have just chomped up a bunch of sticks and laid them across there and probably living in there somewhere. Pretty crazy. Got a bunch of stinging nettles in my leg. Huck doesn't have them because he has pants on, but... Uh, steep bank down to the creek. Hopefully there's some fish down in there. Hey, Huck. First fish. <laughs> That's a snark. That's, I don't even think we can eat that one. No. But at least there's some fish in here. Huck. What? I just told you not to do that. Mm. You don't listen very good sometimes. All right, let's go find another one, a bigger one. So we got a different plan. We're going to go look for some mushrooms or something because the fishing's really slow. I did catch a fish finally though on a little homemade rod. Found another boot. I don't know how it got right there. Okay, we're gonna grab a snack. Get you a blackberry. Yeah. They are real good, actually. Okay, mushroom hunting now. Bye, bye, Well. 
usually you had your pants on, but they're trashed. We found some chanterelles, but they're old and dried up. We gotta keep looking. We wanna survive. Man, we just gotta get on one thing of chicken of the woods or chanterelles, and we'll be good to go. What? I think we'll just starve if we don't get them. Are we gonna starve forever? I'm burning a lot of calories carrying you on my back. Eating the rest of our blackberries. <laughs> I've seen two spots where there was chicken of the woods, but something's eating it or someone's picked it. So, dang. We're not giving up just yet though. He is getting hungry though, he said, aren't you buddy? And he's eating all of our blueberries, or her blackberries, I mean. What happened to your legs? They're tired. <laughs> he saw my shoulders too long, his feet fell asleep, he didn't realize it, and he got down and just fell to the ground and freaked out because he'd never felt that before, I don't think. But they're awake now, aren't they? Feel better? Okay. Poor little feller. I don't know what we're going to do yet. So, we haven't had any rain to account for in the last month, and I think it's just too dry for mushrooms right now. Fish weren't biting, so I feel like a failed dad right now. You all right? What do you think? You want to toughen it out, or do you want to go home and eat and sleep in your bed? Made it. We stink, buddy. So we were uh, just did a good tick check of both of us, right, buddy? Dad had one on him earlier, but we didn't see anything else. Can we get my sock off? Oh, anything on that foot? Look in between your toes. Uh, no. No, 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 no. All good, all good. No. Look, the other one. Your feet, is, my, is that my no. feet that stink or your feet? No. Yes. Huck ate his body weight in raspberries. We also ate a gigantic late lunch at Tumbleweeds, so it's not like we're hungry anyway. So probably good for us to do a little fasting tonight. He uh, asked me while we were car well, looking for mushrooms, he said, like, can I carry the sack, Dad? And I'm like, yeah. And then the sack was empty whenever I got it back, so. Do you have fun? <laughs> you like blackberries, don't you? Are you hungry or not? Huh? Are you hungry? Or you want to go home and get some meat? Or are you good? Are you tired? Is that what you are? Tired? Okay, so let's head out. I've decided he was ready to go home. So we packed up. He was hungry. We're heading out. <laughs> you hope we don't fall? Yeah. Me too. I like carrying a pack with camping gear on it and a 44 pound boy. It's not very far. I can do, I can carry about anything for a mile. So, but there's a hill. It's, like, it's just like packing up a big old four year old buck. We made the back.